A new self-built home is an aspiration many people seek as a unique journey of a lifetime. So we are pleased to introduce the Brackens, which is a self-build opportunity on the Surrey-Hampshire borders. For buyers wanting to escape to the country, this is a great opportunity nestled in a woodland setting near the village of Frimley Green. The Brackens is a short walk away from the tranquil waters of the Basingstoke Canal, yet only an hour from London by rail, so combines excellent connections with relaxed country living. In addition to showcasing the site and plots, we have insights and experience from a self-built individual and a local builder coming up. Self-build plots, I've done four, and I think that everyone in their life should experience it, without a doubt. It's, it's, um, it's highs, it's lows, some days it's not worth it, other days it's worth it. But yeah, it's one thing, if, it, it, it's a privilege to have the opportunity, not everyone will get it. If you get it, grab it and do it. Uh, finding the plots is probably harder than building out the house. It's, it's a tough challenge, yeah. The plot that we purchased and the plots on the estate, and fortunately for me, a few of my friends bought plots here as well, um, it, it was an outline approval. So it gave you a, an understanding of the size of the home you could build. When buying the plot from Castle, it was um, straightforward. Didn't take us too long. Um, their lawyers were efficient. Mine know what I want from it. So it was, it was pain free. Probably one of the easiest parts of the process, I'd say. The detail plan took, I'd say, eight weeks, maybe ten. It was very quick because it was an, on the back of an outline application. The tricky part is done, and so it was more of them to, 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 to approve the overall design of your individual unit rather than the principle of whether they would allow you planning for a house. Uh, top three tips for someone going into a self-build is um, don't always believe the architect. Definitely don't always believe the architect. It's your house, not theirs. Um, whatever you think it's gonna cost, have a, have a contingency, you will spend it. Um, even if you do come in on budget, you'll find a luxury that you want and you'll spend it. Um, and forward plan it. Don't even, don't rush to build it until you're 100% sure you're happy what you're gonna end up with. If you were looking to control budgets on a build and you've got a, a good reputable contractor, I would always say uh, fixed price. But understand what that is because there'll be small print within it that isn't fixed. So really understand it. Maybe have a QS or a lawyer look at the contract to make sure there's no small prints missed. I thought the site had a huge potential, to be honest with you, um, and I think um, as a self-build, um, it would, could become a very, very valuable site. I like the idea of, of an allocated space that a builder can work in. I think it's really, really different, and then you haven't got to worry about other people in your way, you in other people's way, and you're not, and you're not on top of each other, so to speak. Well, I think for a self-builder, first of all, they need to know in their own mind exactly what they want. From that point, they need to get very happy with an architect who they believe can do and achieve what they want to achieve. I think the next thing is, is the obvious thing that they need to look at their budget and they need to be realistic about how much they have got and what they can spend. They then need to obviously appoint a builder. So it's, it's a very difficult one to put time on it. You have to look at the plans, you have to look realistically, I would suggest six months minimum. And I think the other thing that you need to think about also, when you are doing building control, whether you are using local authority or you're using a private building control. Now the builder generally, a lot of good builders will have a relationship with a building control manager, which then you can call them in and go, do you think I can do this or can do that? And he will help you. Start your unique self-build journey by phoning the selling agents and arranging a tour of the site.
There are plots with outline planning consent for homes from around 2,600 square feet to 3,200 square feet, and each plot offers the space and freedom to create your dream luxury home within an exclusive gated development. To view, contact the selling agent on 0252 624640. Voiceover by Drew Campbell. Video production and drone work by John Joe.